today a bit of a uh, vlog style video, but um, right now, well tonight is the night for the super blue blood moon. That is a super moon, a blue moon and a blood moon all at the same time. Uh, this is a, The last time this happened was 152 years ago, I believe. And so this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I've got my camera gear back there and I'm gonna see if I can take some shots. So right now, driving to top of the mountain now. Uh, there is the moon. Yeah, the time is, give me a quick look, 9.14. And I got my camera here. So if I go, I don't know how focused that is. Okay, it looks quite uh, blown out on the camera here, um, on the camera I'm filming with, but that is take a couple of shots like that and then as it gets towards the eclipse date I'll take a few more and I'll end up having like a collage of um, of a bunch of photos. I don't want to keep this light on too long either because that is really bright. But yeah it should be a good night but a late one so I'll see you in the next cut. Okay so with less than one hour to go uh, before the um, eclipse and clouds are clearing up nicely uh, I wanted to explain what a blue moon, a super moon, and a blood moon is. So, basically, a super moon is when the moon comes closest to Earth in orbit, so it's slightly bigger, but very hardly noticeable. Um, a blue moon is not actually a blue moon, it is just two uh, full moons within one calendar month, and a... What was the other one? A uh, blood moon is when is just an eclipse when the moon goes into the Earth's shadow um, on the other side uh, of the sun. So hopefully that can clear things up for you if you were confused. And now let's just wait about 40 minutes until the eclipse will start. This is perfect. This is so good. Look. <laughs> oh my god! It's a nice patch. I will organize these pictures on the computer later, but for now, just do this. It's just, I cannot! That is, that is awesome. I so hope I'm in focus. If I'm not, I'm going to be disappointed. You can slightly see the moon there. It's, uh, it's about to end its cycle and start going back to its original state. It's very windy, extremely cold, but uh, I'm, I'm pushing through. So there it is, the moon is now back to normal. Just got my last shot and hopefully after some editing I'll have a nice collage. So that was a uh, good night of shooting the super blue blood moon. I have just finished editing all the uh, images together. I picked out the best ones, I took hundreds of them. But um, yeah, that was pretty good. And uh, just before I show you what it looks like, um, I said at the start of the video that it's a once in a lifetime opportunity for the super blue blood moon. But apparently there's another one in 10 years. A super blue blood moon in 10 years. Which I can't really complain because it was an awesome experience but I'm definitely looking forward to it again and for any other uh, eclipses in the future. But anyway I'm going to sign off and then I'll show you the final image. So if you do think I have earned it then please consider subscribing. But until then I'll see you next time.